Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I am here today to start our experiment on reproduction and if eggshell makes a difference um, in reproduction as opposed to sand as a grit source for your worms. So, I um, harvested worms, as you know, from um, our to blender, not to blend bins. And I'm going to count out right now 50 mature worms, meaning they have a clitellum. They're already ready to reproduce. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. And I'm going to put 50 in each bin. But look at that. There's a cocoon in there. If my camera would focus. I don't want to drop anything in this bin. Come on. Looks like there's two cocoons. One there and one there. But I'm going to count these worms out. We will put them in these bins um, and we'll probably just let them settle in um, for this week. I'll probably just add a little bit of our grit source in here and maybe just a small piece of food um, for them. But when you're first starting bins fresh and they're not inoculated with the microorganisms that um, grow in our compost you definitely don't want to jump off and throw tons of food at them. They need some time to settle in. I did equal amounts of coconut core in each of these. It's just a very shallow amount. But we're starting with a small amount of worms. I got this idea from Lilia Kogan. I will drop her um, link below because she, a lot of her experiments, she starts with a small amount of worms. And because of the nature of our experiment, it'll be really important um, to know exactly what we're starting with. So let me get 50 worms into each of these bins and then I'll come back, we'll get them fed up and um, get this experiment underway. All right, so each of our bins, 50 worms, a little bit of their existing castings with them, but a very small amount. Um, I'm gonna get something small to feed um, just down in this, these corners and we'll add their grit source and see what happens. All right, so in an effort to be as scientific as possible, I happen to have, ooh, these frozen cherry tomatoes that my mom gave me that had gone bad. I'm just gonna add four of them. If I can get some of these squished open, I will, but they're not completely thawed yet. But that should get it, get it going going to use some of this bedding to cover it up and I'll level out the rest of this stuff here. So that's four cherry tomatoes over here. Let's move some of this bedding from down this side and we will do four cherry tomatoes down here. Same thing. I'm gonna, oh, that, there we go. That's one squished open. Okay, so I squished some of those open, used some of our coconut core to cover them up. I'm not worried about feeding an acidic food. My worms do fine with it. Um, I think in some of my other experiments, I've kind of shown that it really doesn't seem to be a problem. So um, now I'm gonna get a little bit of sand and a little bit of eggshell, and we will add that in here and we will be underway. All right, so I'm gonna use these protein scoopers so we can measure. This is a lot, but this is just gonna be my very first addition to the bins. And then after that, we'll probably use a smaller amount, but we'll always keep it equal. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the entire top of this bin because remember bedding is also food for our worms. So I wanna make sure they always have a grit source. So to be fed down here, I'll do it a little bit heavier, but certainly it's not gonna hurt anything. And it'll get us started, and I'm gonna use a toilet paper roll, because why not, to mark our feeding. Now let's get the eggshell. All right, again, same deal, this time with crushed eggshell. Gonna sprinkle this liberally. Get it over where we fed. Oh, 
All right. So right now it looks a mess just because of all the grit we just added. Um, but I am going to get my watering container, just water both of these down lightly, and that will be it. I've seen some people have issues with coconut core lately, I think being acidic. So I'm doing a half a scoop of dolomite lime. And these are like the slow release tablets. So um, this cocoa core was pre-moistened, but that's another reason why I want to moisten these beds down. So it will allow the um, lime to be absorbed and make sure that we don't have any acidity problems. Going forward, I doubt I will use coconut core um, for these bins, but I just thought it would be a good thing to get started with. It was easy to measure. So, a light moistening down of this just to make sure that the lime can release a little bit and that the worms are happy. Over here. Everything now can get all absorbed in here and we'll be off to a great start, I think. So let's just look at the moisture real quick. Yeah, the moisture feels really good. I can get a few drops out, but I have to squeeze pretty hard to do so. So that's what we want. You don't want it to be too moist and you don't want it to be too dry either. Let me switch hands because I don't want to get any sand in here. I'm just going to check this too. Same thing, the moisture feels really good. I can get some drops out if I try, mix some of this stuff in a little bit. I'm going to leave the worm pile in the middle alone, let them settle in on their own. So I'll leave the lids off of these um, just overnight and both of their lids are labeled. One is labeled sand, which will be this one here on the right, and the other one is labeled um, eggshell. So we are off to a great start, guys. Thank you for all your patience with me. Drop your comments below. Like this video and subscribe if you'd like some more content from me, and I will be back with you guys real soon for an update.